Welcome to our channel. Today, we're taking you on an unforgettable journey to the captivating city of Bucharest, Romania. Join us as we explore the top 10 things to do in this vibrant and historic city. From cultural landmarks to hidden gems, Bucharest has it all. Number 10. Romanian Patriarchal Cathedral. The destination for a pilgrimage on Palm Sunday, the Patriarchal Cathedral was founded by the Prince of Wallachia, Constantine's servant in the 1650s. The building has come through restorations in the 18th, 19th and 20th centuries, so not much of the original remains, while the current design is based on Curtia de Argas Cathedral in the center of the country. The church also holds the relics of the 13th century Saint Dimitri Basarabov, the patron saint of Bucharest. His remains were brought here from Bulgaria in 1774 and are kept in a silver reliquary with a glass panel on top. Number 9. Dialil Mitropolie. South of Union Square is a small rise where Romania's orthodox religious institutions can be found in eye-catching buildings. The Romanian Patriarchal Cathedral is one, and we'll cover that next. But this stands in an ensemble with the Palace of the Patriarchate, with its striking ionic columns. For 90 years from its completion in 1907 the palace was the seat of successive Romanian parliaments, from the Assembly of Deputies during the monarchy, through the Communist Great National Assembly to the Chamber of Deputies after the 1989 revolution. The hill is a sight to behold at Palm Sunday and Easter Pasha, when it is packed with worshippers, a tradition that even continued under communist regime. Number 8. National Museum of Art of Romania. After King Michael I abdicated following the Second World War, the neoclassical royal palace on Revolution Square has been the headquarters of Romania's National Museum of Art. The collections were damaged during the revolution in 1989, but there's still a feast for art lovers in galleries for European art, Romanian medieval art and modern Romanian art. The European section has many big names like Lucas Cranach the Elder, Jan van Eyck, El Greco, Tintoretto, Peter Paul Rubens, Monet and Sisley. Number 7. Stavropolios Church. Arguably the finest religious building in Bucharest, Stavropolios Church has a gorgeous facade that has multifoil arches painted with arabesque foliage and tendril patterns and held up by beautiful capitals. Above are painted medallions of saints, and there's much more painting inside in the form of stone frescoes and a breathtaking iconostasis. The church dates to the 1720s and its architecture is a perfect expression of Romania's Brancovnisk style, which blended Byzantine, Ottoman, Renaissance and Baroque elements. Number 6. Herestrau Park. The largest park in Bucharest borders the city to the north, and much of its area is taken up by the 74-hectare Herestrau Lake. On the Kalentina River, this large body of water is partly man-made having been formed when riverside marshes were drained in the 1930s. The lake has a 6-kilometer perimeter path favored by joggers in summer, and in this season you can rent a bike near the main entrance or take a boat trip from the jetty on the south shore. On foot take a detour through the Insula Trandafiral or Rose Island, down the Lime Tree Avenues and into the Japanese Garden, planted with cherry trees that bloom in early spring. Number 5. Romanian Peasant Museum. First opened in 1906, the history of this highly regarded folk museum was interrupted in the 20th century by the communist regime, but it reopened in 1990 no more than six weeks after Ceausescu died. In those intervening years it had been a museum to communism, and you can still view a small exhibition on collectivization in the basement preserved for posterity. The remainder is dedicated to the history and culture of the Romanian countryside, summing up 400 years and presenting a jaw-dropping diversity of costume, furniture, religious objects and ceramics. Number 4. Lipscany Old Town. A hint of what Bucharest looked like before the Second World War, Lipscany was the place to do business in the city between the Middle Ages and the 1800s. Some of the street names still recall the guilds that were once based along them, Blanery Furrier's Street or Solari Saddler's Street. This small pocket was one of the only parts of Bucharest to be retrievable after the Second World War and has been reborn as a stylish pedestrian zone that has boutiques, restaurants and bars in restored buildings. Look for Pasahul Maca Villacross on the west side, a fork-shaped shopping passage from 1891 lit by yellow stained glass in its roof. Number 3. Romanian Athenaeum. A performance venue extraordinaire, the neoclassical Romanian Athenaeum is the home of the George Enescu Philharmonic Orchestra. 
Wrapped in gardens, this magnificent structure was completed in 1888 and given a thorough restoration to save it from collapse in 1992. Under a grand dome embellished with gilded stucco work, the circular concert hall seats more than 650 and has an epic fresco on its frieze that depicts the most pivotal events in Romanian history. For an affordable night of hiding, Bach or Mozart, book online and pick up tickets from the box office. Be here in September for the Georgia Nescu Festival, when there's a busy program of performances in one of Eastern Europe's biggest classical events. Number 2. Parliamentary Palace. A building of absurd magnitude, the Parliamentary Palace hosts Romania's parliament, but also perfectly encapsulates Nicolae Ceausescu's megalomania. At 365,000 square meters, it's the largest administrative building in the world, intended as a residence, and despite containing reception halls, museums and government offices and the Parliament Hall, is still almost three quarters empty. The palace was raised at an enormous cost, in terms of money but also lives, as thousands of people are claimed to have died during its construction in the second half of the 1980s. Number 1. Dimitri Gusti National Village Museum. The whole west side of the Harestrau Park is given over to a massive outdoor museum, which has more than 270 authentic historic buildings. Made from stone, wood or cob, clay and straw, these have been carefully dismantled and put back together at this site and come from all corners of the country, from Banat in the west to Moldova in the east and Transylvania in the center. Each region has its own style, whether it's the brightly painted walls from the Danube Delta to the ornately carved portals from Berbesti in the center of Romania. The museum was established by the eminent sociologist Dimitri Gusti in 1936 and its oldest houses date from the 18th century. Remember to like, subscribe, and share this video with your fellow travel enthusiasts. Drop a comment below and let us know if you've been to Lisbon before or if you have any other cities you'd like us to explore next.